for securing the bridge. It isn't very secure. And I'm not sure if I want any of that stuff because it leaves me down and ruins my movement. Speaking of which, Zero G is horrible. I am failing at it terribly. So I should probably concentrate on getting out of here. That would be a great idea. A sneezing dog would also be a less great idea. Unless I get jumped by more RAM. Is there really a point to this? To secure all the bridges? All four floors? Oh my! Rerouting the systems. Let's see what I can do. And I believe... I have taken control of the ship. I have captured their ship. This better have been worth it. A wonderful 500 experience. Was I kind of just blowing them up? But, on the other foot, I did get all that experience from all those battles. And a bunch of bleh loot. Hello! We robbed them blind. Now this I might approve of. I also might approve of going to Mars, but that wasn't the point. Let's stop by Palace one more time and get rid of our loot. And stop by Rhonda's Cafe again. Oh my! We should ask him about Talon's face. We pay him off. It is worth it. So if we ever decide to get more revenge on Talon than we already have, we can take it to our full advantage. Speaking of taking full advantage, it's time to work out in the gym. We got quite a few people ready to level. First and foremost, zero G gravity. As high as I can get it right now. I'm also pretty sure Big would like to be able to help his friends a little bit more. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And we proved that the rocket pistol was crud. So let's start training in the Cutlass. Or is Mercury in Cutlass? Hooray! And Roo. You love that zero G and first aid as well. That's tempting as Neil Gunn is. Let's improve that mono sword. Because they are brave warriors, after all. And when you're a brave warrior, you gain a level. Izzy, on the other hand, should learn more about stealth. Perhaps. Be sneaky and attack from behind. I should point, put points in their main skills, but that can wait for another level. It'd be embarrassing not to have decent first aid as a medic. And Jay slightly improves his survivability, even though his tackle is a 5%. Ah, <sighs> sorry, I left him with low decks. Shame on me.
But I still have to get new weapons, don't I? I should get new weapons. So let's explore the galaxy. And wait a minute. Did those credits go to Neil's account? And not mine? Probably. So allow me to check that real fast here. Yep, all those 40,000 credits were given to headquarters. Sigh. That's what we get for doing official business. Some more business I'd like to take care of is getting away from that heavy cruiser. Psyche? Is Psyche where I want to go? I'm looking for some good weapons. Looking at my handy dandy guide, which is not really that handy, but it's a living. A living what? Sure, why not? Let's go to Psyche. Or is it Psyche? Perhaps I'm a Psycho. Psyche? I don't think I've been here before. But why I bother to draw the rest of the base when it's restricted? And was this a Martian laser pistol? Which really isn't an upgrade, but I'm gonna give one to Ruin Big in case they fail zero G again. Seriously, that's embarrassing when you can't even hit your enemy because he can't reach him. I'm cleared for launch. Because I don't want to be stranded on an asteroid cluster. You know? I know. And Earth is polluted. It is very polluted. I almost like got hit by a comet. That would have been kind of funny. Funny as a not funny at all. Just like my commentary. On Hygiena, I can get grenade launchers and rigor heat guns and grenades. So it's a worthless place to be. I could go to Talon's base from Aurora. Interesting. But I actually want to go down to Aurora and buy some more battle armor with fields. So one quick moment while I do that. Hey, let's stop by New Elysium, the Venus spaceport. And it looks like a pretty cool place. It might be a good place to mingle. Unless you'd like to eat bugs. That is good advice. That is really good advice. But seriously, was it called Eat Bugs? Yep, Eat Bugs Bar and Grill. Where you can eat bugs for a fabulous low price. And let's buy a slightly better laser pistol. The Venuson laser pistol, outlined in green. I don't know why.
a slight improvement over the Martian laser pistol. So I shall give that to you. And get rid of that stupid pew pew pistol. Yeah, that's a pew pew pistol. And there are better weapons you can buy, but they cost 16,000 or more. On other planets or fun places to visit. Speaking of fun places to visit, let's check out the local library. I learn nothing, no matter how much I look. Supposedly you can get a bit more experience if you look hard enough. But that's what library gets you. Nothing. Unless you have a specific topic to research. Then you just hope you do a good enough job to pass. And realize you're a horrible person for not trying hard. Hey, there's also another place on Earth. Tycho! Let's stop by Tycho before we end this video. It's a spaceport. And it looks... It looks okay. Shares Luna. I have no words. Three needle guns. I like needle guns. They're awesome in this game. But speaking of what would really be awesome if I could afford it, would be that Lunarian Mono Sword. That would be an ultimate weapon. Instead, I'm stuck with seeing if, if I want to buy any grenades. And according to my god, I can't find any explosive grenades. Why? And even on Earth, information is useless. I've learned something valuable today. Libraries just don't work anymore. I'm so sorry. And speaking of things I'm sorry for, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to end this video for the night. I'm going to grind a little bit off camera. Maybe get some better weapons and armor. And then... Should I go to Mars? Or should I go to Talon's base in Aurora? Or should I do something completely off the handle? The answer is yes. Later.